Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rick. I'm gonna play yeah. some music. Um, Xerxes, if you could describe the village for me. Xerxes. Okay, off to a false start. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Boom. Unless your microphone is doing the thing again if you're trying to talk. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that kind of ruins the big cinematic build up I had planned, but I guess I could switch straight to the, the village. A block. Oh, it might help if I actually open up the music. I vaguely have an understanding of that you guys are in the town itself, since I wasn't here last weekend. Nothing happened last weekend. Yeah, nobody did anything last weekend. Okay, so you guys just, like, arrived. Like, yeah, I know, we were starting our travel, uh, last session. You bitches in Asia, though. Oh shit, he's oh, here. They're here now. Okay. Yeah, they're here now. Your ring has been lit up the whole time, so I thought maybe you were uh, talking and we couldn't hear you. No, that was just uh, my shitty fan in the background randomly distorting me. Hmm. Oh, God, where's my ibuprofen? I need that. Well, no, I'll wait till I'm out a little bit, and then I'll take a slug for ibuprofen. <gasps> Tea. Oh. I drank so much peach tea, but I wasn't permitted my Georgia power. I would like to sue the state of Georgia. <laughs> you can sue anyone for anything at any time. Don't fucking tip me. You'll get a whole 98 cents. As long as it's not one dollar and one cent, I'll riot. I'm about to fucking riot, though. Burger flippers gonna try and get paid as much as I do? I'm burning a fucking business down. For doing literally nothing compared to what I do every night. They get paid almost as much. That's horseshit. Alright. So, can you describe right. the town that the party finds itself in? Sorry. I don't know why I wanted to try and do some music. I'm gonna listen to this story. I have music already, damn it. <laughs> and I like the music. Good music. <laughs> Ah, yes. Remember that whole hoarding technology thing we talked about? Yeah. No, that was me and Dark. We, we did we did some thinking. It's like, yeah, kind of a dick move. But you know what? Fuck the rest of the world. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, God, I have so many cords tangled up. I need to get a test. We need a description. Okay. Nice. I'm looking at the world map. Fuck off. I'm trying to remember where the fuck you are. Well, we last left the town was I'm what we did last. Not. And now we are apparently arriving. So many messages in the world. Okay. Fuck it how we can get I don't remember what the map is or what region you would direct to be in. So we're gonna say you're closer near the outskirts. You're not. Mm, it would be very cold, unless there's ah. heaters on the street. There's not heaters on the streets, but there are heaters in homes. 
I mean, they're. You're gonna say, are they? Stop. I was gonna say, are the streets heated? Have the thighs off of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> In street heating. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> you guys are cold. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As we described, there is actual power, including motherfucking AC, whatever. Okay, but it, I am always confused. It's is it? It's AC running through power lines that it's a transformer right now because the DC method requires too many substations. Uh, so AC is good for long distance stuff because it requires right, less repeaters. DC is yeah, sort of... direct. It requires a lot of substations with their own power supplies. Yeah, okay. I'll be back. Well, there's actual power. There's, like, legitimate street lamps. And fucking bulbs with little tiny filament. I say little tiny. How big would a filament be? Oh, then again, street lamp filaments are quite huge. You've got paved roads. That's one of the big ones. Actual paved roads. Not like, yeah, it's, it's packed dirt. No, like, fucking brick and mortar has been laid. Oh, right here, I'll be post the maps. So you guys know where you're at. In uh, general. Oh, I'm trying to remember the region of Japan this would be. Depending on where you're coming from. So, if you remember correctly, Japan is in the top left of Russia because of the way that the geography got fucked around. Where the blue dot? The light blue dot, yeah. Yeah. And that big black dot down there is where a fucking black hole formed. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that's, that's where we started this. That's where uh, we started, yeah. 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 <laughs> I've come a long way. Literally. You sure have. Traveled all the way up the horn of... Alright. You would be in Hope or something. Sporo. Uh, the, the Horn of Africa? The Cape of Good Hope? The Cape of Good Hope, yeah. You would have traveled all the way up that, across <laughs> Africa, like, on the border of Africa and South America, to the fucking Chilean and Brazilian mountain ranges, and then you would... Were the rains blessed when we passed through? <laughs> they were not, in fact. They're the opposite of blessed. A city. Yeah, cursed! <laughs> that, that entire region is like a monster breeding ground. People tend to avoid it. That's why there's just that one line of towns, because there's a giant fucking bridge there that keeps them off the ground. Uh. Alright. Uh. This is very pleasant music, thank you. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Poor old Japan. Good population. I mean, then again, Japan has a big ass population. Well, How long did it take us to get here, by the way? Several days of traversal in the air. Two days. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it was like two and a half days to get here. Yeah. And Leara is happy now. Leara has finished off their radiation, yeah. Yee. It's, Yee. it's just an inert stone now. Oh, right, yes. Alright, so you are at the. That's right. Rock and stone? They have a large abundance of, for some reason, uh, fucking, uh, red forts, so that's what is paving the road, is, uh, red granite and red forts. That's what the road is paved with. They've also repurposed a lot of their sakura blossom, some of, the, some of the sakura trees, they just straight cut down and made into fucking lampposts. And that's why you've, you've got pink lampposts. That's right. I say lamps. They're they're quite tall, about sixty feet of uh, tall. Actually, meant to cast light on the road, the actual road, which in and of itself seems to have a public transportation being <clears throat> drawn by Norse or Norse equivalent. Several horses actually, like six of them to pull a, a double decker bus along. You were passing past the hint and heading into the city. So that means you would have seen the grove of Wisteria far off to what would be given your direction of the Weast. 
Yeah, I believe the Wii. Wii would be to the right, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then we would see the agriculture, uh, one of the one of the agricultural regions, down the Esther slope over there. And it's quite nice. It's worth noting that there are walls around this area that has farms in it, as if they're protecting their fucking crops. Makes sense. You obviously, you obviously see rice paddies, but you see other things like wheat and sorghum, and for some reason, somehow, a banana grove. What? I don't know. <laughs> Random gin. <laughs> I'll just but chalk it up to like somebody's like, you know what? I know magic. I'll grow what I want. Poof. Cold resistant bananas. Yeah, the other ones make sense because they're you know, fucking it. Rice and sorghum alone, you can't get rid of that shit. But bananas, fuck it, fuck it, I have it. Those two are fucking... like legit weeds in other parts of the country. <laughs> exactly. Wheat's a little more finicky. It wants to get dry at some point. Yeah, there's not there's not that much. Yeah, we'll just target up to anything that isn't from this region is in a greenhouse. That works. Makes more sense. Yeah. When you do actually get to the city proper itself and past its hundred plus foot walls, you are greeted to Yeah. Attack on Titan? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Having a sex with the Beatles. Suddenly flips into dun, the dun. back rooms. Have fun, fucker. <laughs> Having sex with the bees and the eagles. <laughs> uh, yes. They've gone from having great archers patrol the borders to fucking Oni with rifles. Oh. 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 Well, you know, there are guns in this world already. <laughs> we so what all made the rifles? same reaction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you can let uh, shadows of such a nerd that he'll see one of them sitting by the roadside, and just uh, they are loading their. That's right. That is an N block magazine, and they are loading four sixteen a Rigby equivalent into it. Jesus. We gotta remember they're Oni. Them's big. Yeah. Shadows. <laughs> Everybody would see happy tail wiggles as Shadow watches. <gasps> I'd, I'd love to see an Oni carrying around a Texas duck gun. Well, the, the, punt the, gun. the punt gun. You'll be happy to know to that bone. one of the. You will be happy to know that one of the fucking gate defense guns over it is in fact a fucking double barrel punt gun. Of course. Hey, hey double barrel two gauge. Have a, it doesn't have a long range, but whatever's within range will be removed from the range. Yeah. Yeah, and a section of the dirt that we're standing on, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can actually see what looks like the telltale signs of uh, pitted earth that has been replanted and repaved here a few times. Some trees have, like, very clear chunks missing from them. <laughs> They've, but, uh, yeah. They have clean-cut the groves back, and you have a very pretty archway of trees. Uh, and when you do get into the city proper, it smells like... kind of like lilies. But this is a... It's definitely a planned design. It's not like all the other cities that just kind of sprout up in random directions. It's more like how Zarsi's Domain was, where everything is set for a reason. The first thing that you do encounter here, near the outsides, is I told it, is most people's homes. Uh, For a second, I thought you said mitosis. My mind went crazy. No, 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 sorry. Mitosis. <laughs> the first thing the you encounter is just mitosis. <laughs> mitosis itch? What? The, to the building's mitoting. <laughs> well, I guess the first proper part of the city you would have passed technically would have been just outside the gate where all the stables are and the varied exotic species of mount that they have but within the city proper past the inside of the walls the very yes because granite walls because fuck it you're not getting past hexagonal shaped granite I guess yeah uh, Volcanic granite, huh? 
Yeah. Hey, man, they are an industrious people. I mean, fuck, just look at the normal Japanese, what they were able to do. Now that, but Oni. And it is odd. Is the A lot of people's expectations would be that the entire country is just run by yokai, but there is a large amount of humans everywhere as well in the streets, and you can even see them doing their daily duties, some of them cleaning up their little areas in front of their home, and their little doors, but these, these right here on your est side, this is very obviously some kind of apartment complex, because there's apparently 11 doors on the bottom and 11 on the top, each one seems to be of the same size, therefore human brain be like, yep, that's an apartment, got a bunch of tenants. That yeah. looks like a this is the part where the situation right there. <laughs> no, they're not tiny though. They're unfortunately because they can afford it. You know, they're about the each apartment is half the size of the standard house. So Satsu needs to make her rounds. <laughs> Satsu needs what? Make her rounds. <laughs> this is the point where Shadow would kind of duck down in the carriage. Kind of stay away from the windows where people could see in. Uh, you know, it, it makes Scary. sense that there's still a lot of heat around because a lot of Oni's ultimate goal is to like come. In. Yeah. Plus, the uh, Asuka did their one of their platforms. I guess if you say for Empress was uh, ending the fucking racial divide by force. Mm -hmm. There will uh, no they basically there will no longer be any Kitsune tail hunts. <laughs> Or, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or uh, what, what's some of the other shit that Samurai got up? Well, yeah, like, no, and no hunting Tingu for beaks, no hunting ha the heron for their eyes. Yeah. And then, as for you, Yokai, no hunting humans for their souls. Oh, or their dicks. <laughs> no! Or their skin. No! Or their hair. No! It just keeps going. Or their babies. Yeah, Just the, the one the yokai in the is a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, it really is. What? What's the one? No. That's, um, no. Like that looks like a frog. I forget what it is. The fucking... Kappa. Kappa. Oh. Yeah. The, the, that's a... <laughs> the the kappa aren't allowed to fist them for their soul aim. <laughs> no more straight and no more pretending to be their curtains and then strangling them for your amusement. <laughs> It's Aww. more feeding them the Jogoromos than telling them that it's just a normal porch spider. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an inanimate yeah, yeah, object that's been neglected for a thousand years and gained sentience and ability to move that doesn't give you the right to kill people. <laughs> if you can predict the future, no more, there will be no more hoarding over the death of someone just to watch them die from panic. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very long list, and it was it was rough for like the first ten years before they realized that the silent are fucking everywhere. Mm -hmm. What was it? There's one more I'm thinking of. There was one that like drinks lantern oil. Obviously, they don't want that oh, happening God. anymore. Uh, but there was one that was like their whole thing was eating the grime between the tile cracks. It was like you, yeah. you can keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of the okay that did like harmless stuff is okay, but. And, uh, then they also went after, like, the, the I think, is it the Teke Teke Teke? Is that still Japanese, or is it the Korean one? Let me double it doesn't check. Really teke Teke isn't ringing bells. It's the the girl that'll, like, follow you around making the noise. Oh, the Tiki Tiki. Like, yeah, and then, like, you can, you, 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 like, you'll die if you're stupid, if you're, like, you know, rude. But if you're polite <laughs> and offer them to, like, go first, then they'll leave you alone. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a lot I of them like that. that. <laughs> I think that's a Korean one. I, yeah. It, yeah. I, it didn't come up when I spelled it the Japanese way. To be fair, I probably spelled it wrong. But yeah, they, they pretty much sorted out a lot of that. And that's why you can even see what looks like yokai and human couples. Hot. Shadow, Shadow is hiding in the carriage. Statues taken in the sights. Wasn't there? A... <laughs> and that's just the I, apartment. I remember here. correctly. There is mm -hmm. a cat girl yokai, isn't there? 
Yes, there is. Because I think that's what Shimatsu <laughs> is. Yes, Neozeka is yeah. one of uh, Neozeka was one of them. There's the Bakaneko. Wow, you actually remember the name. Yeah, uh, I do. The uh, is better with than I am. I'm better at remembering vast details. <laughs> except when it comes to the shape of dick. Look, if it hasn't been inside me, it's harder to remember, okay? And <laughs> Alright. I don't know how Dark, I'm gonna be real with you, I don't know how I'm gonna put a name inside of you. <laughs> I mean I guess I can like 3D print it out and be like slurp. Um oh, yep, that just, guy's just name is write it on the side of a dildo. Just like All right. cast it in iron and then press it onto a hamburger bun and then I'll I'll remember it. Because it'll <laughs> have been on food. Ah, there you go. That is the apartment complex there, and those are also on the right side of you. Then when you pass this, there's a break, a few streets here and there, and they do seem to curve around, so perhaps the city's design is possibly circular, probably more than likely just out of convenience. You do actually pass a legitimate hospital, not, not a clinic or... A hospitalar, but an actual medical center. Remember, kids, hospitals are where you go when you've been burned, and clinics are where you go when the burn is burning you. <laughs> yep. You have. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> when you have that, it depends. Depending on where the burning sensation in determine is determines where you go. Uh. <clears throat> Doctor, there's this burning sensation around my crotch. Oh, you're looking for a clinic. Goes to clinic. No, you need a doctor for this. I was just there. <laughs> You've also got, well, let's see. What is that? Uh, Shadow would peek out every once in a while to see some of the sights. Yes. There's probably street vendors. I'd probably be pulling them out. <laughs> There are, in fact, street vendors. There are street signs. There are even, because, more than likely because of fucking Xarces and his his constant, continuous defaming of the uh, never-made-it-to-the-moon system, uh, <laughs> there is aerial measurements here. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the most populous nation in the world has imperial <laughs> measurements. I mean, a lot of things are measured in the Imperial system until you get to, like, guns and stuff, and then it's all of a sudden in scientific... Me metric yeah. is the word you're looking for. Well, no, there's... Uh, what... If you're doing alchemy, it's in scientific. If you're doing work with guns, then it's in metric. But, like, there's... That sounded also... like a gun that just happened. <laughs> and then we've got... Outside somewhere, probably a firework still. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh -huh. going to be setting off fireworks all week. I forget the name of the establishment. It's a specific type of building. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, but, 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 Costco. No! Ah! Fuck! Great! Right, it's a bar! It's a bar! It's a, no, it's not a bar. It's a fucking whole-ass hotel. That's a little Tavern? bit past... The, it, no, a whole hotel! A <laughs> oh, a whole hotel. Building. It is a three-story fucking building, and it is past the clinic. Um, is it in there's not... Every, no, it is a hotel. Okay. A ho hotel. So, okay, a so whole are, ass hotel. What are some of the features? But, if it's a hotel, it's got living spaces, right? It has living spaces. It's three stories. It has a lobby, and it has a place in which to get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as a li a uh, well, not really. Well, they might be living, depending on uh, the the establishment's rules. They haven't been fully established blood and also a full staff for cleaning and maintenance then it would just be a hotel that's what i said it's a hotel yeah not a whole hotel the whole hotel is further down that's the in the red light district. Down that way that's in the red light uh, district. okay well first off it's not a red light district it's a uh it's a pink crystal district secondly uh, you are past you're getting close to that but now you're not really seeing much on the est side of you because 
and you've passed where the residential is and you're passing into the businesses and as such you are passing by what can be considered a market square which is where everybody has their stalls and such but they're not ragtag like most places these are established stalls in very specific lots and everything they have a, it's a very general grid pattern that's been laid out rather than just like yeah just caddy corner it there if it fits it fits it's an actual like vendor space and there are many a shop the only ones that would interest a nerd like candy cane would be the ones with you know guns and stuff on the signs and you know that one business that was even in the old old campaign or uh, that has survived to this day arnsel's armory is still alive and well the ones that sold you insurance on your weapon uh have you been paying that insurance? No, he's accrued a large amount of debt to the company. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He completely <laughs> forgot that he owed... Oh, yeah, actually, gonna peek. Oh, no, Shadow's fine. It's Alana who owes them, like, yeah. <laughs> 600 fucking gold or something in, in just insurance. Oh, uh, yeah. So they, they could just claim that they lost the weapon. Then the insurance would owe them. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, uh, but once you do pass this... The best way I can describe how this selling area is set up, think of it like a pizza slice. Vendor space at the end, and the crust is the shop. And the street's oh. on either side of it. Shadow's no, only no, peeking no. out. Shadow's only peeking out so that his eyes are above the like window still, because uh, be he knows, huh? You don't have to be shy. Nobody here's gonna be. Oh, a monster! No, it's not that. It's not that that he's worried about. Oh fuck! <laughs> I, god damn it! What? I I was like, hmm. You know, I forgot to roll weather and random encounter tables. Let's see what's going on in the area. Fucking one. <laughs> okay. What's that mean? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna find out. Earthquake! Also, what, also, what about that one guy that was originally chasing me when I came back the first time? You know, the one that I shot in the neck? That threw an axe through me? He has bigger problems right now. <laughs> oh man, I wish the lust turned on for this. <laughs> Why? There, there is an invasion of succubi. What? Ah, uh, uh, yep. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so then you can just hear that fucking bell ringing in the city. Just like, ah, oh, god damn it. When I say an invasion, I mean like 42 with their underlings. Hmm. Yeah, man, that's when the fucking police actually have to do their job. You watch an abundance of yokai and human alike all just kind of clam around of a building to go deal with some situation. You finally passed the precinct. It is also a fucking three story building has the imperial symbol on it which seems to be what looks like a lotus blossom that is sitting on a uh, rising sun on the water there's the finer intricate detail of each one of the petals of the lotus blossom bearing the symbol of a race but that's its own thing yeah it's pretty humanity has just you know well two hands holding each other even though most people petition we should just put a dick <laughs> it would simplify it that's just what they live for oh right, there's a go because right, something's going on like figure out what the fucking weather like right now he's temperature chart. everyone's just getting out of your fucking way though Okay, it's like 42 degrees outside right now. It's snowing. Is it not cold enough for 
<laughs> I, I mean, I don't know about that. There are some places that would beg to differ. <laughs> There's no lakes nearby for a lake effect. You know, <laughs> like you say, like you say that, and you're just like, yeah, but like, sixty degrees isn't hot enough to be. 800% humidity, but Florida would like to have a conversation on that topic. Florida's also a peninsula. <laughs> also a swamp, what's your point? Yeah. There's no real escape from the humidity. Either it's going in your lungs or into your socks. <laughs> or sometimes both. Mmm. <laughs> Athletes love. <laughs> Athletes love Florida. <laughs> Okay. All right, and Gatorade. finally, the weather pattern because that's just temperature. Fifty. No. It's actually a pretty normal day as far as weather is concerned. Ah, look, a Joe Romo crawling around on a building, and then immediately getting. It's amazing. He's crawling around on the building, which gets her in trouble, and you can see this interaction as the whole procession that you're riding with comes to a halt because Asuka's agreed to let them stop here and de-stress for the day, or the remainder of the day. So you get to watch the police just, ma'am, get off the side of the building. No. Ma'am, this is your last warning. And then when she refuses to obey, you see one of the Oni coming back after having left about three minutes later with an extremely long broom. <laughs> and then just pull. Yep, a Bap. fucking long ass. Bat. Ah! <laughs> Get down. Bat, 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 bat. He clung to the broom. Just start <laughs> shaking it violently while walking off. Bam, release it. <laughs> that is property of the Empire. <laughs> you just watch the Jogo Romo get arrested in an interesting way. Um, okay, so, Succubus Invasion, how many units are available to deal with this? 63! Alright, what's the average level? The average level of police in this eh, relatively large town is going to be about... Let's see, actually! We can't compare them to the capital because that's unfair. Uh, but... On day 100, their average level is apparently 65. Okay. okay, then. Thank you, RNG, for making the night interesting. Uh, so, the lust system is turned off for the players and any encounter they're in, but this is this, the world working against itself. I'm going to consider it to be on for the NPC. Mm -hmm. So, that encounter is going to last about four rounds before they're able to subdue the succubi that came in the first wave. There yeah, is a came. second wave of another 42. They're going to come They're with coming. an average level security of about 50. Uh, how yeah. many guards are going to make sure none of the succubi that have already been tied up escape? And how many are going to deal with the combat? Uh, let's see, 44 are going to deal with the combat, and that means the rest are going to be keeping the ones tied up. I mean, they're going to try and put them in the paddy wagon. The pussy wagon at that case? Regardless, they're going in a wagon. They're going to horny. They're going to horny jail. Yep. It's appropriate, they're bonking them. Okay. Uh, the that... poor humans, they're having to pull out of the battle because they can't handle it. Too <laughs> many. Your soul was too weak. I can fight! Like, chat over here, like, I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me that did that. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Nothing. So, we're stopping here for the day, then? I mean... I mean, I'm still running combat over here. Uh, they're fighting, okay. that fighting over there is irrelevant to you. Your yeah. little cavalcade stopping here because an army marches on its stomach and its groin, and this place can fix both of those problems, so they've got to kind of let the escorts go and do literally anything to de-stress since they've been on the road for 
you know, almost three days now. Fair enough. And unlike you, most of them walk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there is a matron of Nellis. Uh, we'll look quick. Uh, being horny! Three hits. Give the guards a uh, turn to their side. Oh no! Shadow's gonna look at Sats. We don't have to get out of the character. I mean, we could. <laughs> yeah, we could, but I am. Um gonna peek out of the window I, uh, I mean ooh that that's an interesting pose <laughs> <laughs> some of the succubi are in fact there's holes to dance on <laughs> <laughs> ah just fucking <laughs> ah yes the ones that are going to be immediately put in the horny net no <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a back and forth struggle everything ha has a that has any kind of a hormone wants to do a hump, but they also have to do their job. Yeah, well, it's more of a time thing. The longer they're allowed to be on the surface, the harder it's going to get the, the horny tail. Uh, it looks like this is running for about four rounds right now. It's going to leave the guards in pretty horny state. I'd, I'd say, on average, probably 65%. I'm just thinking that they're going to be able to at least alleviate that. <sighs> Satsu might take a detour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, someone's going to have to steal oh, that uh, hell riff there. You have a group of silent mm -hmm. playing rock, paper, scissors. They're just rochambeauing each other. Which is why you hear punching noises. <laughs> Satsu starts wondering if she could Engage, like, start up a bukkake party for her. <laughs> do not. Do not. Well, 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 whatever you're thinking, do not. You got about a, you got a 23% chance of getting there before the silent does to pull, put an end to it when it comes to the close. But so, I mean, when would I have this chance? Well, there's about two or three rounds before uh, another next wave pops out. Well, well, I mean, I'll wait till like I guess afterwards when the guards are super horny, and then like I mean, after everything super settled. Horny after the four waves, the four rounds of combat. That's why the silent is going to close it <laughs> because they're trying not to kill people. It's one of those they'll give them a pass because it's in their nature. If it's somebody else just being exceptionally horny, they get straight to prison. Ooh. It's okay. There's a tongue against a right. Hmm. Satsu squeaks. As you've been traveling, you've learned that this is kind of a regular thing. It's like they come home from their job and they just want to relax. Apparently I taste pretty good. Apparently. Hmm. Ah, yes. But every once in a while you can see Shadow just kind of nervously peeking out the window. What are you nervous about? Well, unlike you, I don't have the best reputation in Asia. Well, yes, we've discussed that, but I mean, like I said, you look way different than you used to. Yeah, but the thing about yokai, appearances yeah, might change, but souls and essence does not. Even though technically I have an artificial soul. I like how Hansi's just sitting over there watching one of them be nervous and one of them be curious. They really have a it was. Mind. Oh, I don't know. Your fucking reason no. for being here in the first place? Yeah. I mean, we have two droolers with us. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so uh, how long do you think this will take for them to all? Uh, and the silent are going to finish their Rochambeau before dealing with you know, 
actually beat the hell. Yes, that's how they decided who got to go deal with the horny. That's why there's now just one of them less. They have made their way to go deal with the horny. And then to drag themselves a succubus back as payment. Alright. Or rather not drag, but like carry over the shoulder like a bag a sack of flour. But that is a level twenty five spell that they're trying to uh, counter. Mm, let's see. Where's one of the three, was it? We'll just do a D3, D4, ignoring fours, D2, D2. Your whole, whole magic level. And... Huh. They have a 27 in their magic levels. I see. Fancy gear they've got turned on. I mean, hey, it's a fair trade. Listen, if you talk while you're on duty, you lose your tongue. If you do anything I don't like, I kill you. <laughs> After the whole... Well, you've got about a one in a thousand chance to survive the training program, so good luck! Yeah, we're staying in here for now. <laughs> 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 That's basically just the silent in general. That's why they're good at their job, but it's, it's a difficult job. It's going to take them how long? Took them two rounds to manage to successfully close it without exploding. I did roll. None of their gear went pop. All right. These D100. Wasn't the silent the one that was going to the other city we were in? Okay, so the Silent are a, a group. Right uh, now, there's... Around Osaka, there's three. In the entire caravan, there is a total of 12. And in the capital, where if they're all together, you've got about 250 of them. They're like secret police, but they let themselves be seen. They don't try to pretend that they don't exist. It's one of those, it's a panopticon kind of scenario is the constant presence of authority will make you police yourself. I know, they sent a silent to that way to go there. And then that silent came back with a succubi. Oh no. To then request that they may have the rest of the day off. Uh, which is granted. And uh, this is good. It's kind of them. Yeah. Then they fucking immediately start by taking their helmet off to catch a bridge. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> I see. That is an Onisune. Oh. Onisune? Ah, oh, god damn it. It's one of his. <laughs> is it one of yes. Fuyu's kids? Yeah, well, yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> god damn it. an oni but with kitsune ears i guess <laughs> and exceptionally time. beautiful hair yes well that's been cut short length still pretty nonetheless they have their father's pretty ice blue eyes it's okay they're paying for the power jump by living shorter yep m's the rules mm-hmm Shadow's just gonna whisper. If you're whispering, we can't hear you. Exactly. <laughs> it's effective. <laughs> We're effective. Shadow's gonna look at Sasu. I know those eyes. Oh? Only one. I only know one Kitsune with eyes that pretty blue. I don't know any. <laughs> you are an exceptionally. Catherine, you know that. What? No, nothing. He's talking to himself <laughs> with a prompt smack on Succubus. 
Oh yeah, his name is. I, I don't know. Are if you I sure say you his want name. To say their name out loud. <laughs> that no. Let me finish. Chad is gonna look around. I know his name. I'm scared to say it, and worries of bringing him back to this world to steal more wives. <laughs> Voldemort. Um, sorry. No. <laughs> I'm scared to say any of my friends' names at this point, in fear of accidentally zooping them here. The only ones you gotta worry about, Yuri and Ricky. Ricky will just literally just fucking telefrag a table. I arrive! <laughs> just fucking, you just hear, thunder! Why would you be afraid of summoning Naibai here? Naibai is adorable. That might not be upset though, because she spends most of her time humping her shark wife. Yeah. No, they spend a lot of time uh, espousing the glory of their new god, which they serve. That is true. <laughs> Nabai over here being like, so, anyways, I follow the primordial god of destruction, war, and protection. You should join our church. We let you kill what you want as long as it's in the name of happiness and family. What? <laughs> Who starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. You sat down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly that. how Naibai would start a conversation. Would you, would you like to join my cult? But... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, there I mean... is an Onisune, one of his. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not surprised though. Uh, I am not surprised at all. Yeah. But you couldn't keep his dick out of things. I mean, there's a reason he wasn't allowed in a lot of towns. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll look over at Shadow. Um, well, I guess when he's out of the way, uh, food? <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Uh, sure. I could go first. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hey, is what is Satsu wearing? Not much. Ye <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she would be wearing the uh, the outfit. Ah, yes, this is good. Zarxi's uh, priestess outfit made for her. Had Oni Sunio stop and go to point, and then just get a no. Damn. <sighs> That'll have to be. There goes a silent off with themselves a prize. Deal with. I guess they got a little horn. Well, they were that close to the portal. I mean, it is a literal uh, spell spring of lust and desire. True. That explains why they were able to resist a lot of the horny. They're Kitsune. They are the horny. You cannot defeat them with it. <clears throat> Or half his name. I was born in it. <laughs> you merely adopted the horny. I was molded by it. <laughs> Raised in <laughs> Created from it because my parents had sex on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Shout out to all my November babies. <laughs> Your parents fucked on Valentine's Day. You do not know <clears throat> lust until you have been utter fed. Yes, I said utter fed, not rest. So we need to find a cow. <laughs> there are some around. <laughs> Take a look. All right, but there. That, that, that's good. You stopped yeah, near the hotel, which is about two, three. Hold on, I'll roll. I'll roll for this, too. God, you know it's me and my ugly mug. Stop saying face not recognized. Uh, one street down, apparently, actually, from the Pink Crystal District. So, yeah. That's where an uncomfortable amount of caravan guards are going. <laughs> that happens to be where some of the best food is, though. Ooh. Some of the best food is right near the fuzzy. <laughs> Marketing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You gotta refuel after you smash. You got that, you got that one guy's like, bro, I don't fuck. I'm not here for the hookers. I came here for these fucking nachos. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, because that's what you think of when you go to a whorehouse. I hope they have good clam chowder. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I see a missive from the Turkish Alliance requesting aid. Apparently, Gondor calls for aid. Apparently, Greece is invading Turkey for some reason. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Turkey! Gobble gobble. What? <laughs> That's a long distance for them to go. That is a but long I mean... invasion. I'm not sure what the dice are planning here. <laughs> I mean, Asuka will consider it. That's they a had lot of back. alliance they've uh, had to have made to cross that many borders. Yeah. And it's gonna be hard for them to help because they'd have to go by sea since not a lot of people are willing to give her military access. Kind of a desperate move if you think about it. They could demand a lot. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for helping us defeat our enemy. You're welcome. I would now like my payment in half your country. The half that's not on fire right now. But this is the only living space! Yes. Fine, we'll just take half your global payment. A month. Uh, I, I like the idea of taking the half that's not on fire because the border would look insane. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we? Why is Looking this one spot not part of the country? Well, you see, it was Oscar on fire here at the time. Giving... <laughs> she gives me, like, her expansionism in the, from the dice has given me major PTSD with Hearts of Iron 4 border gore. Like, ah, uh, why? Supply lines. Uh. <laughs> why must everything be all? I want to blob. I do not want to puzzle these. You know, that Annoying. is an interesting puzzle. How do you handle fly lines when magic is involved? Carefully. Alright. You may do what you require. If you want to go find something, you may go find it. There is an information kiosk near here, too. You just have to go... You have to go up here. You're a little... I say little. Quite big. You have to go out, and you'll go... Est towards where the market is, where all the vendors are, and then you can find the information kiosk there. And they can give you a map of the city's layout. Okay. Or you can okay. follow a random guard or or police officer who's currently holding their crotch. <laughs> Why would you suggest following the authorities? Oh, I was gonna say, like, do they do they follow a path like in the games? <laughs> 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 I mean, you can see where they're going. You know, it's really just if you're curious. Just, they they look back. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking sees the fucking cat following them. Are you trying to be nonchalant? <laughs> Shadows looks at Tatsu, so... Food? Food, yes. I say uh, we go get a map so we don't get lost. Sogo will guide you to... Yes, the, the prince may or may not just be uh, absolutely fucking having a blast. Tormenting Shadow, mostly. <laughs> Shadow's gonna be the last one to step out of the carriage. <laughs> you, they can tell he's nervous about being back in Asia. Crab cakes. So yeah, I guess that's a good person to follow you around and him, and then So will follow him because So's legally obligated to protect him, even though she wants yeah. him to die sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where would you like to go to find food? To the restaurants over there in that district? Or to where all the other people go to get food sometimes? Or the normal people? Or the I'm, um, I'm feeling fancy. Then we'll go that way. You, can, you get to go all the way up the street. And around Est instead of down west where everyone else is going. So two streets up and two to the left. Uh, and 
bars. Well, it's bars or whatever else you want that you sell over here. I wonder how many uh, guards are just, or like how many of the people that were affected were just eyeing up Satsu the whole time. <laughs> Everyone stares at the booty, but no one acts on it yet. Most of them are just holding off until they can get to one of the uh, houses of ill repute. And you just hear some carrier walking by. I wonder what gas really criminal I can sexually harass today. What? What? You just hear a random person walking by, saying, "I wonder what gas really criminal I can sexually harass today." <laughs> just keep walking. Just keep walking. <laughs> I don't know what that conversation yeah, is about that they're having with themselves, but. That's uh, that's what Shadow's doing. Just, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Hope no one noticed, recognizes you. Hey, shut the hell up. Nobody's like, gonna notice. Satsu acknowledges the fact that she, you know, she's getting the looks, but she just she doesn't even give anybody a glance back. She just keeps on going, like confident as all hell. The main determining factor for them not to go and be horny near Satsu is the fucking giant Oni that's behind them. And the silent standing beside them. Yeah, the that thing. would, uh... That's... Might as well be putting up a brick wall between them and Satsu. I imagine. Well, their thought is like, oh, well, that cat's gonna get reamed. <laughs> going to? Uh, you mean... Already done. <laughs> hey, Shadow. Yeah? Yep. Oh, okay. Let me grab my dice bag. Where's my dice bag? You haven't had it ready? What's wrong with you? There's not a lot of people who would still notice you, thankfully, because this is a area fiasco was a while ago but you might get some old ass people who are like, i remember back in my day when he was a criminal <laughs> i remember when the entire world was... <laughs> was he a rat bastard <laughs> i remember back when he would have cost me a fortune i remember <laughs> Oh, 68. Okay. Remember, you know, the way you felt when you first brought to this world, with, like, you know, the ground opened up, and, like, all those and stuff, and... Yeah. Black, and, yeah, it feels like that, I guess. Uh-oh. What the... He's going to take a step away from the group, having that feeling again. There's a... You alright? There's a what? A there, there's a voice that comes in your head, kind of... Almost like a, a, a network message you might get. And it, it simply asks, like... What are you doing here? Doing up... What? Doing up where? You're... As far up north? <laughs> South. Several Sword. units away from... Things... Got complicated. Need transport. No, because if I was to leave now, I would be killed. No. Can you? Like, do I know who's talking to me? It's. Just, it seems like you're getting a voice in your head. It kind of sounds like error. Wait, error brought him? Oh. But he's running for fucking error. 
Huh? Shadow's gonna put a hand on his head and just kind of grip his hair. Get it done. Just leave me alone. One more thing. What? Thanks for keeping an eye on the. What key? The feeling goes away. Shadow's gonna look around. What key? And Sasu's just gonna like kind of stare at him. What about a key? Don't worry about it. Let's I know I'm worrying it. about it. What about a key? I don't know. She's gonna have that look of like, is that so? Like, you're not gonna answer me on this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Sucks. Let's let's just go get some food. Who was asking about a key? I don't know. What? You just hear the Kerua the fucking like that's who in the background just hey Kerua. Ah, they have sp <laughs> You can tell the owner you're saying something about the two of you because they chose to use a different language. Oh, but uh, wait. there's wait. Shadow had okay. subtitles yeah. before. Does he get subtitles now? Yeah, Shadow understands ah, Japanese. I love it. <laughs> I and, love it. So one of them hears he's fucking up. And Satsu has her cap of understanding languages. Yeah. <laughs> so Satsu, you hear it. And Shadow, you see. He's fucking nuts. Yes, he is. But then. No, I'm not. I'm not nuts. Just fucking read. Mother of Sea. Still hot, though. <laughs> Shadow, I'm, then just, I'm not just crazy. Say. Oh, now he's responding to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crazy. I just heard somebody talking to me. Hmm. That bothers me. That <laughs> was yeah, the one that. See, every time you the... respond, you're going to get a response. Shut up. It was the one that I came back to this world with. One of the ones that brought me. The one who was in that town. Yeah. Sadge is going to take a deep breath. <sighs> this isn't good. And they, what? I... God damn it, Dice. Why are they doing this now? Why? <laughs> Everything is happening today, apparently. <laughs> okay, so... This is what you get for having a week break, man. I know, right? The dice are mad. <laughs> Gotta make up for all that lost time, I guess. Okay, so even though it's like, you know, the middle of the day, doesn't fucking matter. A wave passes over the sky, and all of the sun's light blinks out. It just turns into, like, almost a dot in the sky. And the fucking moon is up there. It is, like, half exploded. There's chunks of it, like, orbiting around the planet in, like, this cloudy ring of dust. The moon. And it's fucking eclipsing the sun. Uh, um... I I'd have to say this is a bit much to be a coincidence. <sighs> Um, I'm I'm just gonna shoot a mental message. Uh, Xerxes, do you see this? I'm just, just fucking here. Everything is on fire. <laughs> uh, Xerxes, you would act be able to see uh interplanetary hey. missiles being launched from the moon surface. Of course, none of the gods really understand that there's dwarves on the moon. So, yeah. they, they just think it's, like, an attack. Huh. 
That's what those little fuckers have been doing since we lost them at deep rock galactic. That's <laughs> actually so knew the dwarves were up there. Because remember that time that he's like, hey, wait, what about dwarves? And then Shadow, like, I gotta run! Because he's got an axe! <laughs> That's what he remembers. I mean, Satsu knew there were dwarves up there. I mean, he'd be kind of like waking up in the middle of the day after another entire all nighter of prayer for work and husbandly behavior. I fucking love the term for work. Right? <laughs> just, the only thing he's wearing are those fucking black slacks with the boss belt buckle on. Nothing else, and just the, <laughs> the fucking giant controlled chaos tattooed across his back. Just, just the fucking emergency the meeting blaring siren. Mm, I hear it, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just fucking, just <laughs> fucking Celis waking up to the sight of Xerxes goddamn ascending slowly. I'll be back later. He's not even doing it in, like, a graceful manner. It's just one of those, they've summoned everyone. And so he's just sipping his fucking morning brew while slowly floating away upside down through the heavens. <laughs> um, so you get, you talk to him, and then the moon appears. Is this because that new guy? Is somebody throwing a fit because there's a new god? Shadow's gonna look at Statsu. That's not because of me. I had nothing to do with that. I'm gonna dip into the restaurant quickly. <laughs> Statsu's just like, I'm a dip. <laughs> well. Ah, yes, I see. Satu is very put off right now and not very trusting of anybody at, anymore. <laughs> Understandable. But you know you can't trust? All oh, these fucking cooks are going to make you some food. Ow! I forgot I got punched by an air grease spring. And <laughs> my knuckle. Damn it! It doesn't hurt until I touch it and it reminds me. <laughs> I, Bane. Bane. That's how my knee is when I accidentally slid along a license plate on a septic truck. Ow. Ew. It wasn't ow. It was more just like, oh, that just happened. I'm guessing there's about to be blood, so let me start heading to the sink. I get to the sink. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, yep, there's the blood. And then threw a bandage on it, and it hasn't bled since, so it's fine. Like it, it was, But it's more like Something touches it, and it's just like that quick sting, and it's like, why do you still hurt? That's you. I am what my... happened. That's, that's... I am on my knuckle, and this mysterious cut I have above my knee that I woke up with one day. It's not big; it's like an inch long. But like, it's like I don't know where I got it from. Like, I went to bed, and it wasn't there, and I woke up, and it was there. And I'm reminded of it at work sometimes that I'm like shifting tires or I'm like lifting the dolly ass in so I can tilt it and get under it or something where I push my leg into like the metal or the frame and then suddenly, ew, that steam. Why? And I'm like, oh, right, there's a cut. Shadow's going to reach into his uh, inventory and. He's going to get that little crystal he got from that weird device. He's going to pull it out between two of his claws. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I wish I never picked you up. I'll destroy it. Break it, my child, and free yourself of this burden. Got Omnia Is that coming? Time. Just straight ignoring all the procedures. Is that what Omnius is saying? I mean, there's like an 80% chance he's straight just trying to tell you what to do to throw a wrench in somebody's plans. Ignoring paperwork, because his logic is, fuck you, I'm a creator god where I come from, I can do what I want. That's literally the, I'm an American <laughs> equivalent in this world. <laughs> if you're a deity, I'm a creator god is, I'm an American. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? <laughs> You cannot change my mind. That is now my idea. So is, my so is that what Omnius is saying, though? 
I mean, he doesn't know what to do right now because he has zero context, but hey, man, okay. he's, got an, he's got an idea. You could either break it, which could cause a bomb. You could, you could, uh, you shouldn't listen to random voices in your head. That doesn't ever work out. <laughs> Alternatively, you could break it and find out what happens if you're this far down the rabbit hole. I mean, every. <laughs> Everyone be on your best behavior. The observer is awake. <laughs> He's just gonna put it back for now because he doesn't want to risk a bomb going off in the city. I mean, the logic being a key is no good if it's broken. And again, the moon is shattered, so you can go with that edge sword stuff. I mean, the moon will be a pull less eventually, but. The bigger concern right now is of the origin gods is back. <laughs> oh god, everything hurt. <laughs> Was somebody talking about you? <laughs> Darcy's limbs fucking ache right now because he forgot how annoying, how bad at summoning <laughs> the entire pantheon was. Oh, I'm alright though. Who shit the bed? It wasn't me. So, the Pantheon is probably going to feel it first as the Observer sweeps their way down to the dimension. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, uh, you know, Burp. starting in the subsonic frequency, sending through the hypersonic frequency, and all of the different, like, forms of observation just, like, leaping over. Oh, fuck. Hang over. <laughs> That's one of those, he almost falls over if it wasn't for the help of his handy tail clinging on to the nearest object and or other deity. Way too but, underdressed for this. Shadow's going into the restaurant with where Satsu went. Oh no, Satsu, your hiding space. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm just mentally blocking everything out at the moment. I'm getting <laughs> getting some fucking Beijing beef. Damn it, some Beijing corn. <laughs> oh, we do got a Jogo Romo here, and you've got a Huli Jing in the corner, apparently. So okay, this is another one of those multi yokai run restaurants. With a simple human chef. It's gonna be a kind of hibachi style grill. No oh, shot, I was half expecting oh, the chef to be like yes. one of those hot warriors. <laughs> like from Elden Ring. Mean, what? No, like uh, one of those. Uh, what, I forget what they're called. They're like I, the, porcelain the knight. Okay, if you're talking about there, it, I know what you're talking about as a yokai, and that is what the uh, jar warriors are based off of. Is a jar that like sits around for like 150 years because apparently that's the magic number, and then boom, is sentient. Yeah, I was half expecting have the chef to do that. Now, your <laughs> chef is a spider who's doing all their cooking upside down. I just said there were human. There are human chefs. Oh, okay. It's not like one, it's like a hibachi grill. There's several of those throughout the entire restaurant. Satsu's excited. Satsu loves hibachi. The world might be ending outside, but... Hibachi. Well, to be fair... Asia's used to apocalypses happening every few centuries. I mean, yeah. You know, ever since the Great Candy Cane Epidemic, you know, it's pretty much just set a precedent. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's got to be such a confusing title for anyone that is from there. I mean, did everybody just start licking them, or what happened? <laughs> another world whose another world whose title was named the Candy Game brought ruin and destruction when they opened an extra dimensional portal to a conquering nation. It was closed quickly, but by that time, a few hundred million soldiers poured out. Jesus Christ, Shadow. Shadow's just kind of kind of slumping his 
like just kind of slink down in his chair trying to hide his face. <laughs> the challenge wasn't really the numbers of all the conquered trolls that they used. Those were distractions. It was the few champions they sent. They even killed my mother's beloved best friend, who is so quick that he was often considered to be the thunderclap you heard in the east when crossing the water. Satu's going to continue looking at Shadow. <laughs> Shadow's just like like he using one of his cool. hands to, to like try to cover his face. <laughs> what I happened just, between the last it. times we met? <laughs> oh no, it gets worse. It gets worse because So's going to tap on Sogo's shoulder and he'll give a nod. He did. And she'll take off her helmet. That person was also my father. <laughs> you killed my father. Prepare to Prepare die. To die. <laughs> my name is Ennio Montoya. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> the cook is now a lot less panicky knowing that So is no longer on duty. <laughs> Woo! That was scary. <laughs> they will start by preparing the beef. And they do go into the ceiling, and you can see it. It is a little shelf. With all their amenities hooked up into it and setting on. I say little, it's quite a big, it's like a rack hanging from the ceiling. Including a little mini fridge with all the meat that they're going to cook for the evening. And they will go up, fetch it, and then lower themselves back down and be prepared to cook. Yeah, I'll have a fried rice, uh, volcano style, with soba noodles, and uh, fried onion. No problemo for the scooter. Ugh. Damn, Shadow. You got outed by two of these two Oni. I mean, Shadow's <laughs> been getting outed for that pretty much the whole time they've been here. <laughs> we moved on from that, so we don't really mind. <laughs> It just seems like kind of a coincidence that when you return, the fucking moon does. It's not my fault. Yeah. You sure about that? I, <laughs> I don't understand why the dice decided that now's a good time for that. Now's a good time to drop a level 450 world event on the people of this plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm level 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I don't have guys, a level. You should maybe stay in the bar and like you know chill. This this is a bit high rank for where you're at. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be like, I request a leech. Uh, looking for leech. <laughs> <laughs> like you better stop all these gross violations of spatial magic because. All right, there's a very tall <laughs> Frenchman getting a fucking annoyed. It's like, stop it! I'm containing all of it. You can't just warp a moon into existence. <laughs> well, look, technically it's not their fault. They shouldn't have broken the pendant if they didn't want the moon to show up in their face. <sighs> um, chicken and steak. Actually, add shrimp to all three. Yeah. Chicken steak, pork, fish, shrimp. I just, uh, just so go. Just, I would like to request all of your meat. No, you know, you, know, you may have misled me on it being a lot of meat. I want all of your meat. Very confused, Jogaromo, but they will comply and bring down the remainder of the meat to the grill. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not all of the meat at the station. All of them. <laughs> he means everything. Just all I can give him. It will be acceptable. For now, I will allow it. <sighs> Fucking angry onyx colored Oni over here. His name's Sogo, it's not some stupid shit like fucking, ooh, his name is fucking Kuro, which means black. 
and get it because he's getting black. Shut up. Shut up. You're not creative. Aren't I so you creative? <laughs> Shut up. Ah, oh, fuck it. Leave Antarctica alone. Fuck oh, Antarctica! <laughs> it, it's finally touching Russia. Leave it where it's at, goddammit. I am home, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. They'll have somewhere to run when Asia continues to grow. <laughs> that entire northern section of the map will just read Japan one. Or, sorry, not Antarctica, that's at the other end. I'm talking about, um, Alaska. And for some reason, they don't have Alaska marked as its own thing. They just have the capital of Anchorage. It's the only, it's the only city with a population greater than Moose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apocalypse is happening. Some of the silent are wondering, do we kill it? Asuka's just, eh. He's not panicking. He's alright with it. Mostly because her soul will be fine. She can return from the netherworld if anything goes wrong. Asuka just flexing on the fact that they have ascended as an oni over all the other species. <laughs> Even her own skin. Oh yeah, by the way, since there's a moon now, there's going to be a fucking tsunami at some point. So maybe you should prepare for that. And she... She always knew the moon would come back one day. That's why there's a fucking seawall around Japan. There she fucking knew. They all left it. <laughs> no, I was just thinking like, wait, this world should have a seawall. Fuck it, that's where some industry's going. Or rather, at least it's to guard the capital. And the rest of the lowlands of Japan, it would... It feels like it would have been a battle of futility. She could only protect them from so much. Would try. Looks like the... Shadow is just kind of sitting there, like. Uh, it looks <laughs> like what uh, in our world is known as the North Pole, but in this world is just the big Arctic Lake. Is uh, going to have a nice wide connection to the rest of the ocean. Oh boy! The specific ocean. The, yes, the specific yeah. ocean. Keep in mind, you guys have only seen, like, one side of the planet. You don't know what the other side looks like. <laughs> Water. Somewhere out there, just think. You guys completely missed the plot hook. That would have let you go on the Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> you've, got to admit, you've got to admit Zeus and realize why so many people slept with him. Because Zeus yeah. in this world isn't hideous and old. He's hot. Oh, uh, it's a skull. I mean, skull was awoken <laughs> oh, by the boy. moon returning. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a dramatic enough event to snap someone out of a drooling fit. Ah, oh, yes. Skull snaps out of his drooling fit. He's currently just being gently cleaned by one of the fucking maids in the carriage without uh, the caravan. Asuka. just welcome back. The world is ending again. I, I I was smiling at her like for a moment, noticing that she was helping me out, and then she says, "The world is ending," and I'm like, "Excuse me? <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. These happen in Asia every few thirty or forty years. Might be a tsunami with this one, though." Satsu's blaming Shadow. Omnius still suggests you crush that key. What? Omnius would still suggest that you crush the key. That's entirely because chaos must reign. Well, he's scared of what to happen if he crushed a magical artifact. He doesn't want to they explode along with the city. Huh? They usually blow up, but once yeah. they do, any influence they have goes with them. Of course, they blow up is the main. That's why people don't do it a lot. That's why Shadow's not going to do it. Call probably those people crazy. I mean, you could always go throw it in Jorman Gender's mouth. He, he's somewhere beneath Italy right now, snoring. That, that is still a thing that's on the planet somewhere. 
Yeah, last I remember, uh, fucking, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I mean, they had to revive Artemis the last time they did the hunt to put him to sleep. They're not Thor, and Thor was too lazy to help fight him. So it took, like, a bunch of other gods, because it's like, you know the rules, if somebody from outside your pantheon has to fight your monster, they're not allowed to kill it. To be fair, Thor does kind of die every time he fights Jormungandr. Yeah, so he doesn't want to, he's like, well, dying sucks. Get your pot billy ass out there and give him a fist fight. What are you gonna do? Smite me? I'll be damned, he did smite me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your response upon waking up from resurrection. Just, I'll be damned, he did smite me. Okay. Shadow's gonna look at Sogo. We're uh, taking the fight south. Okay. okay. Looking. I, w I was worried. They were moving uh, up towards you guys for a bit there, but they've managed to redirect themselves away from you. Do not make her invoke her god. We've kept it pretty chill for like a hundred years. We don't need to reveal what that, what they are, all right? My footage is good. He's, holy fuck! Hold on. Oh, like, Shadow's gonna look at him. Uh, I am. Um, I guess you can't just ignore that. They're gonna just fucking put a global stop on the time, and then it's gonna be countermanded. So everyone's just gonna feel like their hearts stopped all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fucking. You knew that wouldn't work. Why would you try that? What? So, uh, Shadow's gonna look at Sogo. Hey, uh, Sogo, I have a question. Yeah. Is there a. a way to safely destroy a magic art item? Yeah, you put it in anti magic zone and you crush it with a rock. Do you have any anti-magic building? Uh, Capital has uh, the magical university, which in and of itself and its depths has an anti-magic chamber they use to dispose of artifacts. <clears throat> Gonna have to update the map and but, uh, well... shut up because there there's an item I have that. The ones that brought me here want me to use to assassinate someone. At least get close to them to assassinate. And I don't want any anymore. Dumbass. What do you say? Dumbass. <laughs> You'll just hear a, a, a giggle from Brown Satsu. <laughs> When I first arrived here, I didn't expect to be coming back to Asia or to meet any of you, really. Judgmental chewing of delicious beef. Mm. Yeah. Judge you while <laughs> eating food. They said if I just killed this one person, they'd send me back home. Just so you want to go home. I do. Bruh. That's all I want. Did you just... What? All you gotta do is ask. You know you could ask your god. I've prayed to Omnius. He's working on it. Okay, you said... I was about to fucking go off. <laughs> what? No, well, if he was to no, say okay. it, it would pull him back to where where they pulled him from because you're not beating Randall on taking his property. I don't care what kind of level of anything you are. Your short mortal life isn't competing with almost 30,000 fucking years of, you know the fuck what, in response to the world. The most dangerous thing alive. 
Randall. Sounds wrong. Shadow, I want to give Asuka at least what I owe her. And go home. Oh, many ways. She'll be fine. Well, I'm already pregnant. Uh, fucking, so what? So is she. Probably. Well, I'm not going to take any more children away from her. No, you'll be okay. They don't need any more. They got me. Oh, no, thanks. I have a drink. What? I'm fucking eating. No, I don't need a drink. I got one. <laughs> ah, yes. The cup. Hmm. We are still in a restaurant. I still plan on eating while you guys talk about destroying things. Okay, that ain't stop so go from eating. You are enjoying a nice four star meatball. Uh, I called it a star because I immediately forgot the word I was going to Good job. <laughs> Four First. blank meal. <laughs> yeah, um, it... Fucking... Okay. It's not inspiration. Fuck. It's the thing we're using in yes. place of inspiration. Tenacity. Oh, t yeah. tenacity. tenacity. Yeah. That's the fuck that was looking. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and also, as soon as I realize this is a restaurant, have like uh, eat something that is. You're still in the caravan. Am I? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, sorry. This is. There's food in the caravan if you want to eat some fucking food and drink some water. Well, I mean, if if it is something that would de rehydrate me, yes. Yeah. Got some pickles and stuff if you want them. You've only been out for a couple hours. It's not terrible. Alright. I'm probably at least a little peckish. A little bit bleh. You know what I mean? Mouth tasting yeah. weird. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just imagine them having this like intense conversation. I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, oh no, god, he has a buff. <laughs> Sogo has one of those in his back pocket. That's scary. Awesome. Dark, I'm gonna send you a buff. I don't know what. Don't what? worry about it. Oh, don't fucking worry okay. about it. Sending me a thing? Alright. Uh, I rolled. Literally holding it out of his ass. Oh my gosh, these are low lands. It's gonna sweep across the entire fucking continent. Here. I wonder how much he had to oh. kill to get that. But will it make it past the mountain line? So, it doesn't make it past all of South America and North America. And once it gets to Australia, it's already going around, so it lost a lot of the pressure that the tidal wave is going to do. Uh, the northern section is protected by Asuka's four planning, so a lot of people are actually saved there. But, you know, the strait between Alaska and Russia right there? Yeah, that, that land bridge is fucking gone now, and the water's gonna sweep across the middle of that area to the other side. Hmm. Glycol's still there, isn't he? Glycol's... He's still... Yeah. He's there. <laughs> yep, he's there, and he's just, uh... He's being a fucking uh, shit in the background, doing a lot of things that... Probably wouldn't make people that have been thinking ahead happy, but, well, he was sitting here for one specific job, and he's been accomplishing it this entire time, and nobody's been in, 
interacting with him in the background, save for that time that he got roadhead. So nobody knows exactly what he's been doing, but there's a reason he disappears every time you come to a stop. Huh. Yeah. And, uh, but you do find him again in this restaurant over there in the center of the restaurant. What looks like gouging out the fucking floor for some reason. Shadow. Michael, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Just... Shadow, that's very scary what he's doing. You know what those look like. What? Those are runes. And there's big ones. Shadow. You know what? He said not to worry about it. Whatever. Well, he's in a hurry now because he was taking his time, but since somebody decided to bring the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of revealing you're talking about. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I'm looking at the map and the plan that he had was correct. He's been in almost a complete circle. Starts, uh, Satsu starts reaching over towards Shadow's plate. You gonna eat that? Shadow, yes, I'm gonna eat it. Is that it? Just. Sir, can you can No, it's all somebody attempting to ask Glyco to stop, and then just immediately they go lax and leave. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Shadow will eat his food. I rolled against myself. I don't think that someone with a magic level of 10 is beating a 196 on a divination or a compulsion spell. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's probably not going to happen. Okay, here's the new map. I blacked out all the towns that are going to die from the tsunami in like two days. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Holy fuck. Right? Everybody left to Xerxes for not having, like, control of entire cities and instead having his stuff located on a mountain. Well, suck it, you peasants! Ooh. Look, shoreline cities are a nice investment. Yeah. For a they are. But it's not the most strategic location to be situated at. I'm actually scraping these rooms out on my floor in the carpet over here, by the way, so I can remember the pattern. I've gone insane. That's uh, shut up. This entire encounter. Okay. Shadow at this point, he is pretty much ready to snap. All right. But what, what's Shadow about to snap over? People he, he's just people. ready to snap at this point. He started that while you were eating, and so around the time you finish eating as a group, he'd probably be done, just so you know. Uh, yeah. You'll get the comment. Well, it's two sides to a triangle, but I guess it'd probably work. A squared plus B squared. Just taking it. Takes out an enormous bag of fucking gold he may or may not have procured from somewhere, and proceeds to start melting it down with a burner moment you think it's safe to go back outside i wouldn't do that if i were you okay chad's just gonna start rifling through his bag his inventory to sing uh, all right let's see uh, hey uh start safe that's me. You want these beads? Beads? Yeah, I got a string of beads. You want them? I'll... Sure. What are they for? I think you know. Why do you have these? I don't know. Something about hopping through portals at random gives me random shit in my inventory. Like, I have a sandwich. The only description is loud. 
takes it out. Eat me! Pain is torture! <laughs> like, I have a skull. It's just a skull of Thebes, and it's cracked. Uh, I have a bubble shield for some reason. I don't even use shields. I could use that. Just yoink. Um, okay, we'll add that to my inventory, I guess. I don't, I'll need to know details later. Um, uh, the only details I have is one chain of beads, XL. Oh, well, th I mean, that's a description. Rest in peace. I have a, I have a one-dimensional octagon. I, I don't know why you're, I, I, hmm. are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. I'm just... It confused. This is the first time I'm actually going through my stuff. You actually will be if I get this. Uh, but I don't think this is the proper stuff to bring out during dinner. I'm done eating. What do you mean? You just started. <laughs> you know what? I eat fast when I'm stressed. I've got a bottle of pill rations. Uh, I'm curious. Ha have a sip of this. Have a sip of what? It, it's my it's my cup, my personal cup. All right, and he's gonna take a sip. It tastes like Sirius's honey tea that she always made every morning. Instant mood change when he's drinking this tea. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna look over. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The tea that Siri usually makes in the morning. Honey lich tea. Lich tea? Yep, yep. My wife is a, my wife is a lich. Oh, right. It's a long story of how we met. Well, um, should we get some alcohol since we'll be here a while? I don't know if I can think I'm pregnant. I keep, hmm, it's such a weird thought. Well, um, but try being pregnant with only babies. That's not gonna last when we go through the thing. Huh? We definitely huh? have stretch marks. <laughs> I mean, I, I only, I don't know if I can drink with only babies. Only Xeno babies. That's a weird combo. There's an Onisune out there somewhere right now pounding a slicken from hell into the ground. And apparently a Xeno baby is a gesture. I, yeah, I, look, I know that Oni's biological father, that Onisune's biological father, that's not surprising. Good, because he doesn't. I'll let him know. He'll probably be pretty mad at you. Huh? No, Spice Bob, could you say that again? I, you cut out partly. I'll be mad at you. He doesn't know his own dad. Oh. Should I tell him or should I not tell him? Rather than just, uh... Also, what is Skull doing? We've had a lot of time today. Yeah. What does Skull do? I does don't Skull know do? what's going on. That's Neither do we. Saber are in a restaurant trying to enjoy a meal. Shadow is freaking out at a, a lot of conse uh, consequences and coincidences <laughs> have occurred at the same time. Uh, a lot of crazy shit just went down while you were drooling. Uh, like the moon reappearing, which is causing a lot of people to panic. A lot of people are dying. Yeah. Will die. Will die. There was a tsunami. In like Will two be. days. It won't be long until Asia is the only populated country in the entire fucking world. 
<laughs> so what happened to the moon? It got stolen at some point by a petty child. And it's and not it's Shadow's... Burned. And it's completely not I Shadow's doll that they have weapons. Let the resident oh. of the world explain it to him. Okay. <laughs> a long, long time ago, there was supposedly a very, very jealous and very avaricious man who had ambitions. Foolish ambitions that he oft should have laid to rest. But he decided I'm going to take the moon now. And he did. And he was proceeded to be punished for it. He got a fancy new piece of jewelry, but then got stuck so hard somewhere deep beneath the earth's crust that he was completely forgot about. And by my best guess, with how far I had to go to get to my fucking home, some asshole let him out, and now it's my world's problem to fix it. Also, welcome back to the world of the not drooling. Thank you. Deep. Deep, deep. There we go. This is where you do things. The part I you didn't like... actually hear what the last thing he just said was. None of us did. Um... But yeah, moon stolen away. It's now back. Tidal waves. This all happened like yeah, I got that much. less than five minutes like... before you came back. Yeah. Yeah, I, d I don't. But I don't in... have a prepared response to the moon has, was gone and now has returned. Um, uh, but so yeah, you, I don't... So you know we're in the next town where we were heading to uh, last session. Um, She'll probably give you the same directions to the information kiosk. Yep. If she even recommends going outside, I don't know. Osaka does not recommend going outside, but it's free to choose what they want, so they will at least inform you of Skull of where you must go if you need to. As to over there behind them towards the vendor section, there will be an information kiosk. One row down from the hotel that you're currently... Resting outside of, in her big ass fucking basically house on wheels, is one street down is where all the people are going to the whorehouses. Further down still, you can find the restaurants, and further down from that, you can find the unique services areas and the uh, basically the unions and guild associations. Those nerds, to their knowledge, would go eat. Um. I don't know. I guess I practice magic. I got. I have nothing to do. Oh, you could simply read or write out a will or whatever you have to do. Write out a will? If you want. I don't know what people do. Okay, so that is what you said. Well, yes. I don't know. Freaking turn you up. Everyone does things differently. Some people do things when they panic that they shouldn't, and some people do things that they want to when they panic. Some of those people out there are confessing their love to the massive creatures that they have thus fell in love with, and the other ones, well, they're, I don't know, dying or being consumed. Who knows, really? I don't know. I can make a spell for breathing underwater that'd be at least a, a preparatory measure 
assuming I survive the actual water collision itself. You'll be mostly fine here. Everyone laughed because there's no moon, so there'd be no waves. But then one day it'd come back. Hmm. The mountains and the flood wall were fine. Fortunately, anything beyond those mountains or on the other side of the flood wall is perpetually doomed to drown. Hmm. What is beyond the flood wall? Ocean now. It used to be lowlands. Are less sensitive agriculture. Going to hurt for a few years. Thankfully, we have grain stores to last 10 or 15 years. But that's going to cause quite a bit of problems. Going to have physical yeah. rations now in the nation. Oh, uh, it's going to be horrible. Because they become a statistic. Thankfully, most of the power consolidated around the capital. That will be fun. Well, I guess if there's any time to wage war on my neighbors, it's when the world's ending. Sounds like a really dumb idea, actually. Well, I'm the one of the only countries that doesn't have rampant disease and crime. So... I think my ideas are pretty good. Hmm. Oh, but at least the Turks won't have to worry about the Greeks invading anymore. This is a really random thought. But do you think there are magical diseases? Yes, there are. And if you put the people under an anti-magic area does it cure them no or... no the body produces small amounts of magic on its own when it's connected to the world so that speeds the disease it weakens it but it doesn't get rid of it hmm. like having an sti you can take treatments to reduce its effects and make it non transmit but you never fully get rid of it Is that real? Is that... Yeah. No, only I... certain ones. Only certain ones don't go away. There are specific uh, STIs, as they call it. It's an STD. Stop trying to make it sound fancy, you nasty ass. I can't stand the modern medical community in their soft language. Call it what it is. Um, some of them, like AIDS and stuff, yeah, you can make it non-transmissible and basically non-existent with powerful uh, yeah. medication. But, you know, like, the clap... You know, you can get rid of that. Yeah. AIDS I was aware of, but like... I'm like, all of them? Really? I mean, once you get them, you kind of keep the DNA of it, in, or RNA and shit in your body. But it's like one of those... It, it doesn't really do anything anymore after that point. It's harmless. Oh, it flares up. That is quite gross. Good to know. Well, diseases are generally pretty unpleasant. That's why I don't really run any in my campaigns. I mean, I do. you'll have, like, the occasional disease, like you know, pneumonia, if you decided to go water breathing. <laughs> but, like... Gross. Aside from situation olden is where you definitely would have gotten something a hundred percent. I don't really run them. Oh gosh! <coughs> time for me to get dressed. I hate having to work on my second day. At least they didn't reshape the continents this time. I can keep using this map. <laughs> Small victories. Small victories. <laughs> Killed off 
pretty much half of the population in two days, and the world is gonna get a lot, a lot more dangerous. Did my rank go up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, are you Almost. gonna go out there and tie people down so they get killed by the tsunami? No. Then no. I mean, Xerxes gave refuge to who he could before it hit, but, you know, it's hard to get up that mountain. And a lot of his mages are exhausted from constant teleporting. They a few hundred people, that's what matters. Oh, and his massive golem at the in at that entrance road saved a single family of sheep. Must have been panicking sheep and giant hands over while the sound of rushing water goes everywhere. Oh. I wonder when those missiles are gonna hit. Oh. It's, it takes a while to get to the from the moon to the planet. He hasn't mentioned. He just wonders if any of the other gods know where they're coming from. Hmm. Well, how about that moon situation? Slurp a fucking drink. Hmm. I mean. All the other mm, gods gen. have their Listen. prayer per work on like hold right now while they're having this thing, like trying to figure out how they're gonna deal with the players, which are causing uh, such a disturbance to the plane that I did nothing. <laughs> no, <laughs> not prayer you. Prayer for you. Like, why don't you just uh, I don't know, man, like ban them or something from the server. They can't be removed. They've already integrated themselves. They get removed. And crashes. They have to be killed. Oh. Legit. I just isolate them. Take their hands off the steering wheel. That's simple. It's like, uh, you know, they basically run things off if-then statements from what I heard. So just, uh, if this person ignore, boom. that's actually been a plan for a while but they get so many fucking prayers that they never have a chance to actually do anything <laughs> they've I mean, been I can... stuck in bureaucratic gridlock <laughs> I guess I could do it since you know most of my followers right now are uh, they're not praying uh, I mean I'm getting a lot of oh gods but shit no <laughs> <laughs> and Zaxi just gets from Satsu what the fuck is this? <laughs> that is busy. Wait a minute. That's literally all you get back. Ooh. <laughs> hey, uh, question. Uh, what? Wait, well, this is for uh, Dark, I suppose. Um, is the Duke somewhere in those black circles? They're not. That would be quite the coincidence, wouldn't it? However, funnily enough, the uh, guild which assigned the quest is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Would I know Oops. this? <laughs> like, because Xerxes is an IBM sheet. Do I need to do this with? <laughs> so, you'd know approximately where their main base is, at least, you know, the general oh, 30 God. mile area it might be located in mm -hmm. um you have a pretty good idea of what might happen but it's also Probably a not. pretty robust guild they've got like a bunch of pretty much all over the continent so even if the main guild got taken down it's not like a death blow to them okay like i mean I, i'm just wondering if like i would even know it got taken out and i still like Go through with it, and then just okay. What about my what about my payment? <laughs> no reward. Guild is dead. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still fully intend to go through with it. 
Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't even know if the town's wiped out. Like, teleport there, I'm underwater. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Just use the, the, rem the memory bracelet. Alright, now to go pick up my dress. <laughs> Well, this sounds familiar. There's <laughs> mm -hmm. a hold of the gods hostage in exchange for this, by the way. What is Xerxes doing? He's he's literally asking, like, do any of you guys actually know Fortran, or do you just think you know it? <laughs> he it took him a while, but he figured out what all their jibber jabber was, and like those fuckers were literally talking in Fortran programming. How dare they use the ancient? Do not use the <laughs> against me, which I was there when they wrote. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm about to integer your parameter right up your ass, boy. That's my. What size is your perimeter? 10,000. <gasps> that means this world would literally break if someone was to put a fucking hyphen anywhere it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, like, that's kind of why the like, gods don't want to fuck with it. you <laughs> like, use dev ob hyphen jack. <laughs> put a hyphen between dev and object. Break the entire fucking world. <laughs> That's kind of why none of the gods really want to touch it. They all use the excuse of, oh, I'm too busy. But Thoth, you're the god of knowledge. You should know how to do this. Well, yeah, I do, but you see the stack of paperwork. <laughs> He's got a little bit of time before, you know... It's been a hot minute since I've had to break out the fortress. Uh, last time I did that was like... Uh, it was a it was a elective class in high school, and they were explaining like how basically IBM decided to make coding and then make it as confusing as possible. Pretty much to job security. <sighs> so is Zarks gonna try and tackle the uh, hacker man path? I mean, if they want him to, he's willing to do it, if it at least helps. It's like, ugh, oh. I really don't wanna... If he does, though, he's just straight pulling an IBM fucking timesheet out of his pocket. Gonna get that shit ready. So you'd have to make yourself a super user above the narrator. Which, yep. of course, they can uh, reject at any moment in time, so you'd have to be fast about it. And then you're going to have to unadmin the admin, and you're going to have to strip all of uh, errors abilities, to interact with the system. Which is going I to may or may not have been writing up a sheet of this for several weeks of roughly like the basic script of what it would kind of look like. I'll try and find it and send it to you. It's in my save messages. All right, see that you do that if you're gonna go through with it. Um, and see, I, what is the world? Would the world just still be like basic program EX one, or does it have like a specific like like name in its own code? Because I just went off of like what they you know example one like they taught us in school. So the world is actually called abroad. That's what it's known as in the code. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it's a joke between all of the alpha players that the place at the center of all the other worlds is called abroad. It's been a hot minute, so I'm probably like way off on what my shit would be, but... Uh... Let's see, what else would you have to do in like... Less than a round. <laughs> you'd have to do those three things. Those are the important ones. And then once you have access to the system, you'd have to regenerate all of the key codes to lock them out on the next round. Then they would have an opportunity to try and get your location either physically 
or magically. So and, I fucking hate, by the way, that in Fortran, instead of it being like value and the check mark being like real, it's it's backwards basically. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so like instead of value colon real, it's real colon value, and like set commands are the so any command you give it is typed backwards with it's object of command and command rather than command and object of command. Yeah, that was, I think, one of the reasons why they chose to go with that system, because anyone trying to hack it, like, from the outside would get everything wrong. It's been a, this is going to be like, this is going to be a rough script, just so you know, when I find it. Because, like, I don't know how this works, because everything is different when it comes to that ancient fucking one-by-one -one loop coding, so... It's, like, just the most basic thing I can remember as to what it would kind of look like. I wouldn't have- I didn't include integers because they wouldn't be necessary for setting, but it would be- Well, no, because I need an integer, then I need an integer executables. Uh, uh... Are you okay? Uh, you'll uh, probably have to do a reset loop on all of the players so that you can get rid of their level because that's what they're using to kind of fuck with right now. Everyone was admin, right? I got that right? Like, they've all set themselves as basically admins? They have essentially like... set themselves as system admins, and right. uh, narrator has set themselves as, uh, I forget what it is, there's a position above admin. <coughs> moderator? No, so... moderator is admin, uh... The moderator you could probably leave alone, they're just there to make sure the system is running, like, properly. They don't even get involved in, like, the fights. Yeah. So, how long is the apocalypse supposed to last? Well, that depends on when you decide it starts and when you decide it ends. Uh, how long are we? How long are we gonna have to stay in the restaurant? Well, you should be safe as long as the walls hold. Yeah, you can go where you want. It, it is pretty um, much an entire planet's worth of water that's bashing against it. So. Yeah. The core Shadow. of engineers is earning their pay. Also, so I know, can you send me the name of all of them? Because I just typed a bunch of like user one, user two, user three. I I because I forgot their names and I wasn't gonna like be like, eh, fuck it, it's not important. Just like send me a list of the names. Cause I'm not getting an auto default error code on something that I'm not even coding. Shadow stands up for a walk. Okay, be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow will take one last long sip from the cup before Can it I... gives a cup back to Satsu. Who said you still had it? <laughs> yeah. Shadow's just going to go out for a walk. Satsu doesn't let people keep the cup. It's a yeah. here's a here's a taste. Enjoy, and it's back. <laughs> you can ask for another sip, and she will gladly yeah. give it. Shadow's just gonna not in any particular direction. He's just going to go out for a walk. Um, I imagine. Payment is necessary for this. Yeah, well, yeah. How much is the meal? Still nervous about the silent and the prince. I don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, you sure? Okay. Uh, I will leave a, a tip. Um... 
at the least, which will be... Eh, I'll leave a gold coin. Actually, it's rude to tip in Asia. God, God damn it. At least. Uh, at least. You remember where we came from. It was considered rude. To tip. Yeah. Okay. I'll, then I will um, refrain. Actually, question. How does that work? Why is it rude? What? Well, because in Asia, in Asia, workers are actually paid a good salary. So mm -hmm. pretty much tipping a server in like Japan or somewhere is kind of saying that they're broke. It's it's just America oh, okay. makes it like a necessity. Yeah. Almost everywhere else it's frowned upon. Yeah. Including Europe. I I was just wondering, in terms of like mechanically, why, why? would that be considered? Yeah, I got you. We got you. Uh, Shadow's gonna <laughs> just walk out and just start walking. I love that fucking sound. It's a big mushroom. How pregnant is Shadow, Spice Pup? You're early on set, so like, eh, they're there, but nothing like, oh, God, yeah, gotta fall over. Okay. <laughs> you know, that funny stage of pregnancy where you'd be like, I'm just gonna gently push yeah, you once you yeah. flop over into the bed. Or have to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The writing process of this FN engine is very, very frustrating sometimes. Yes, it is. So, so what? Any, does Shadow come across anything interesting on his walk? He's not going into any whorehouses. Not right now, no. My brain's too busy trying to do, you know. Give me a second. I'm still working on this. You're fine. I'm still trying to find the giant list of things. Right, and there's no spaces. No, well, there's spaces, except not all the way spaces. And I was just, ugh. That was right. Oh my god, it was hell to write that list. So, Shadow. Yes. As has been described, there's a number of Oni walking about, some of them looking a bit more nervous than. Now that there's, you know, impending doom. Yeah. There are several stalls in the vending area selling a number of their street food or uh, knickknacks, or a couple anyway. of them are actually selling something even useful. True. Wait a minute. Uh... There are several pretty geisha walking around. Hmm. And... Are you gonna get some priests? Yeah, they're... Hmm. Priests of... 
You're not getting an answer for that because of the fact that it could be literally any deity. Fair enough. We ain't Tolkien. We ain't get, okay. We are Tolkien. I'm not even gonna lie. We love Tolkien in this house. Oh, Chad is gonna go to the shop with the like knickknacks, like the little souvenir stand. Yeah. Like, what kind of knickknacks do they have? Ah, uh, you know they got those like Russian stacking dolls. They got the cat with the paw. They got like the uh little doll with like one of the eyes filled in they got like mm. yeah yeah region appropriate knickknacks how much for one of the cats like 200 yen or something i saw last time so it's like bucks in terms of currency, thorium. Thorium. Okay. Yep. Okay, so two thorium. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that would be a buck. Okay. All right, Shadow would buy one of the waving paw cats. No. 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 He thinks it'd make a good present to take Siri when he goes back. The one thing I can never... Well, no, because... Oh, huh? All right, you have to write the number. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I found the list, and I'm like... How the fuck did it go? It's like... You don't set it to, like, true on its own. You, like, type true. You put a question mark so the system recognizes it's a question. And then you use brackets, and you put... Either the Y, or a double Y, or an N, depending on how old your fortress is, to tell you if it's a yes or a no. God, it's so rough. I really... Sorry, I didn't think I would need something that I never thought I would need again. Who says school doesn't teach you anything useful? It's not useful. It's <laughs> fucking something to spite Google. Shadow's curious. He's gonna take a walk back to one of the gun stands. No, there's no gun stand. There are shops. Okay. These are not the artists. He's gonna go to back to fucking cheap guns with barely decent functionality. Why do you need more, by the way? No, he's just curious. As to... he's just curious. He doesn't. He's not gonna buy anything. As you said about the artists, or any managed to get you to buy a revolver and a shotgun. Yeah. Well, you know what? Sawed-off shotguns are necessary. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Shut up. No, they're not. It depends on what you're using it for. Sometimes you need the ability to move quickly in caves and also blow out your ears. That's with any gun in a cave. You're gonna, even if it's a little twenty-two, you're still gonna blow your ears out. I was, I was just making a joke. My bad. I know. He's just curious to see the advancements in Oni technology. There you go. I see. I gotta ban all of these people. Oh. Oh, but how I many like, of the? I like how. Kieran. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> All the ones that are wandering, I'm assuming, aren't going to start any fights. Just the... Uh... Alright. Do they all have admin status? So, all it's... the alpha testers would essentially have admin status. Uh, any of the ones with their name in brackets would have a status above that. Okay. I am Sam, the man who used the magic to unmagic everything that needed magic. The man that became the observer, yeah. He literally blew himself into the nth dimension with magic. And they just fucking let that guy loose on the world. Again. Mm. 
reason the moon wasn't in the sky anymore. <laughs> Does the error also have Adam Privilege? Because I put him on the list. <sighs> so, error isn't on the list because they are a avatar of the narrator. Alright, that's true. Good. We're just gonna go ahead and fill out this giant list of removals. And, um, nobody is an avatar of the Observer. He's nobody. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, that's what I said. Nobody is the avatar of the Observer. Like, obviously, the Observer doesn't have one. Motherfuckers. Well, Satsu would make her way back to the uh, caravan. Oh, yeah. DevOps. Uh would be the one. Okay, cool. I know what to remove then. So, Tatsu moves back to the caravan. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Oh, Skull, you're awake. I will turn and go, Oh, you're finally awake. Punch him. Yeah. Take punch damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing a precautionary measure here. I don't have anything against all of these people. It's just I'm going to fully fill out this list. Um... There's some nice restaurants and like some cool things if chaos wasn't reigning supreme right now. Because chaos reigns. Pass some cool things on the way God. here. I swear to God. Are the ones on the ban list, are they still in the world? They are not. Okay, good. If you get banned, uh, means either you run out of lives, or you did something so bad that you did. I should probably take Adam off of this list. I don't think he did anything to anybody. <laughs> and you know what? Just for... Just for good measure, we'll also take all the status away from these little fucking master tester bastards, too. And give it all to Satsu. No. No, Satsu hasn't done enough for Zarsis for them to literally play with fate and have Sam punch them right in the cock or something. <laughs> like, he's probably not gonna fuck with Sam, because they're not doing anything. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Keyword. However, the narrator. All right, Stan Lee, I see what you're doing. Suck off. Suck off who? Hey, shut up, you whore. You I said it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take. You're the one I who like... asked for my services. I like this one nerd who has privileges on this list and doesn't even know he does. Is it Sasu? Oh. No, it's not sex. <laughs> is it Shadow? Uh, I mean, it does say right. Shadow was voluntold to be the DM on this list, but that's like from yeah. the beta stage. What? Why do you think it keeps getting brought up? I don't know. Oh, I don't know none about being DM for outcasts. I just thought it was a funny joke that came up. It oh. still is. <laughs> All this time, Shadow has been the avatar for the creator. God damn it! <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Or are you? Of course. I am. I'm the avatar for okay. the creator. That's why I'm not allowed to play. 
<laughs> I'll DM again next year so you can play. You mean later this year? Oh. True. Fox was trying to kill you all off early, specifically so she can move on. I mean... Nah, this is my long-running world. There's a reason it's in the middle. It's allowed to interact with everything. Alright, I found out, uh... I found out uh, it would be DevOps would be brackets above admin. I, I remembered in Fork yeah, Speak that, it's that, DevOps. that sounds right. You're making me type so much. I hate you. I love you, though. <laughs> well, maybe if you finished the government system. <laughs> maybe if my computer <laughs> would have ate two 300-page documents. Why were they even that long? Because I am a very completionist, and I was like, I will just get all of the systems of government. And then I forgot the average fucking tabletop player has a... Wings, uh, wing and uh, wingspan, an attention span as far as a fucking parakeet. That streams the yeah, so If a mechanic lasts more than a page, most tabletop players are like, "No, nah, that's too much." All right, so this too is much be, be happening, yo. This too long, didn't read. A, sh a very shitty list of commands. But, uh, when you get it, just give me some credit for getting, like, 30% correct on something I haven't done since fucking useless school. I'm not gonna be able to tell you whether or not it works right away. I gotta forward it to someone who actually did the system. Oh, <laughs> god, it's definitely gonna be horrible. This is, like, base, like, I'm remembering some of it. But, like, all of my knowledge off of it is still muddled with coding I kind of learned partially to try and, you know, break games that you got off Steam before they made the Steamworks thing. Oh, God, I remember that. Yeah. I don't. It was horrible. It was awful. This is definitely going to be bad. I should, fuck, I should just send this to fucking... Ian, he could probably tell me. He could probably write it. Yeah, uh, Ian probably could write it really well. <laughs> yeah, as much as he programs on his computer, he could probably write it super fast. Who's Ian? He, Ian is a nerd I know who basically he does all the prop making, and he is a. He's been a computer nerd since like he got his first laptop, and he has a computer that's worth more than most people's cars now. Because he, he believes in the every eight, eight months, your shit's obsolete. Less than a year? Yeah, that's the rule of, uh, like, when it comes to computer technology. Every eight months, a new piece of technology will be developed in the industry that will render your current technology, uh, by comparison, uh, obsolete. Not in, in, in its entirety, but comparatively. So not inferior, just not the latest tech. Well, inferior, but not like so much that it matter like matters for normal people. It's the average goer. You can keep your PC for like ten years and it'll still run games. This all that good stuff. Yeah. Even up to date ones. Oh, God, this is going to be horrible. So, <clears throat> uh, I assume Satsu is going to keep in the caravan? Uh, yeah, since kind of want to be around people I'm familiar with while all this chaos is going on. And we are, I guess, approaching the end of the session. Yeah, we are, I guess. I think we can keep going if you guys are up. But... No, I'm tired of shit today. There. I gotta get a sword. Shadow, what about you? Where are you? 
character at? <laughs> um, well, after browsing the gun shop, some he was gonna head back to the caravan. Sorry, I couldn't fill you in on that. They don't have to wait. Uh, that's gonna have to wait till next session. Yeah. And I'm trying so, to write a I mean, chess program. It's being stupid. I mean, balls literally just showed up to die. Hmm. Yeah, whatever at this point. Oh, God. My Maybe you guys will get to fight next session. <laughs> well, I mean, there's plenty of shit to fight now. There's plenty of succubi in the prison. Oh. <laughs> Did you say no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's only Just... half of your soul. They're not gonna be able to take this art artificial soul Shadow has. Well then, it's the perfect fight for you. Lucky Miss get yeah. cucked and you get to have a good time. Yeah, but then Siri's gonna neuter me. So not gonna happen. Okay, but what if you return with more soul than you left? The only soul I am interested in getting back is the part of my original soul that Celis has. Well, you should have mentioned something when you were there. Ugh. I did! Multiple times! Yeah, but you were informed by Zarius that most of that was currently trapped under those giant pits that he refuses to see shrunk. <sighs> that means you have to bring them a soul of equivalent size to replace you. Not mine. So long. How? Am I going to get a? Am I just gonna get a mason jar, stuff a part of a soul in it? Like, hey, I brought you a soul. <laughs> I want mine back. I mean, with the right in. Yeah. This is like my shitty oh. little fucking thing. Okay, let's take a look at this. Why is that one going off? Why is that one... Why, why is that one like that? Why are those like that? Huh? Why? Okay, anything else going on? That should be good for this session, I think. That's okay. gonna be like... I, 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 there's part of me that, like, says, like... In my brain's like, that is incorrect, Then You're not typing that how it's supposed to be. And I'm like, I know, but it kind of, it's like a 50 50. I don't know, though, because oh my god, I hated it. I hated it so much. It's like, shut up, brain. You're not in control here. I am. I it's okay, it. because it's not true code. The, the system has to, like, interpret it as if you were talking about it. So, give me a second to forward this to the person, and then we'll oh. talk about it, and I'll get back to you on whether or not this worked. But right away, I'm pretty sure this type command is going to be a password. <laughs>